beyond the imagination, the most futuristic and innovative buildings on the planet. These architectural concepts, which were inspired by the future, integrate technology, engineering, material science, and imagination. Sources of inspiration range from Blade Runner to Black Mirror. A new architectural era is here, and with it comes boundless facades, perpetual elevators, and limitless lobbies. Prepare to be transported into the future by these spaces. Number 9. Toronto's Absolute World Towers The Absolute World Towers have the appearance of slightly elongated and flattened tin cans. The two towers, which are 518 and 589 feet tall, progressively twist as they rise to form a distinctive landmark. The office, filled buildings tower over the city, identifying it as a center of growth. At the intersection of Huron, Ontario and Benhamthorpe, towers developed. These futuristic structures were intended to have exceptional visibility from every angle. Residents of the Canadian city of Mississauga, which is part of the Greater Toronto Area, have dubbed the two towers Marilyn Monroe because of their curvy shapes. They stand out from most comparable structures, where such an effect is created using balconies or a facade because the meandering silhouette mirrors the structure. Number 8. Zaha Hadid architects were responsible for the design of the Morphous Hotel in Macau. The 150, 000 square meters, 40, story flagship Morpheus Hotel in Macau was designed by Zaha Hadid architects. It is the final chapter of Melco Resorts and Entertainment's sprawling City of Dreams Resort development. The City of Dreams Resort development combines casino gaming, shopping, and four other hotels located on the Kotai Strip to create a colossal block that is punctured by three undulating voids that resemble the figure eight. The unorthodox monolithic structure comprises a freeform exoskeleton that rises from ground level and wraps around a pair of towers and a cathedral, like central atrium. Number 7. Gothianum, Switzerland, by Rudolf Steiner. One of the largest reinforced concrete buildings of its time. The Gothianum has a mysterious design that combines the charismatic volume of God with the zeal of an orthodox onion dome and the command of a brutalist masterpiece. It is also one of the oldest buildings in the world to be constructed entirely out of reinforced concrete. Its form, which may come as a surprise, developed directly from its function as a location for performances and educational activities. Steiner drew a parallel between the Gothianum and the shape of a nutshell surrounding its core. Steiner's kernel was the active, breathing space of the main theater, which had a capacity of 1,000 people and was located in the very center of the plan. From this vantage point, Steiner appears to be building the venue from the inside out, adding performance areas, rehearsal rooms, classrooms, and offices as he goes. Number 6. Epich House, designed by Arthur Erickson, West Vancouver, Canada. The Epich House which was designed by Arthur Erickson and built in collaboration with his long-time associate Nick Milkovich, functions as both a time capsule and a design beacon. The house is a modernist classic and was constructed for a steel maker and his family. Nonetheless, it differs significantly from its more rectilinear relatives, such as Mies van der Rose Farnsworth House. Its curved lines in response to the site are considerably more reminiscent of Frank Lloyd Wright than Mies. It was equivalent to falling water which was built in the late 1970s and took a decade to finish, with owner Hugo Epich acting as the general contractor. Number 5. 57 West, New York City The West 57 building is one of the few contemporary residential constructions in the world that has 600 apartments, and it may be found in the city of New York, which is already somewhat crowded. On the other hand, if you were to examine the building from the outside, you would never have any reason to suspect it. It appears to be a glass and metal pyramid that has been slightly squashed, and it has some strange protrusions circling the front face of the structure. The block on West 57th Street skillfully combines two current architectural trends. From the height of the skyscraper, the building's walls allow breathtaking views of the city, while also dividing a private green space for the residents of the block from the street. In addition, the 150 meter triangle that makes up the main building lets sunshine flood the entire complex without obstructing the view of the Hudson River. Number 4. Brussels Atomium. The Atomium, a scale model of an iron crystal lattice that has been magnified 165 billion times, 
is widely regarded as one of the most significant symbols of the city of Brussels. The Expo 58 World Exposition was kicked off with the construction of the Atomium in the year 1958. The building was designed to look like a piece of crystallized iron. It stands 102 meters tall and features nine stainless steel balls that may be reached by an escalator. The escalators are housed within the tubes that connect the spheres. The Atomium is a stunning building that features a museum, an observation deck, a restaurant, and a variety of other convenient services. On level 8, the highest sphere, you'll find the restaurant with a panoramic view known as Belgian Taste. A sample of Belgian cuisine. The views from its windows are very breathtaking. Number 3. Seattle's Bullet Center. Not every edifice from the future looks like it was taken straight out of a science fiction movie. Some things are more futuristic than others due to the function that they serve. The Bullet Center is an example of one such building. Although there is a significant amount of reflective glass there, the real charm is in the activities that take place within and around it. The Bullet Center was the first office complex anywhere in the world to be awarded the Living Building Certification for being the most environmentally friendly commercial construction ever constructed. In 2014, the Bullet Center was able to generate 60% more electricity using solar power than it required. The building is also outfitted with a variety of smart technologies, some of which are making their debut in the construction of multi-story structures as we speak. The office building achieves carbon and energy neutrality thanks to the installation of a green roof that filters rainwater and gray water. The entire six-story tower is powered by solar energy, and it almost maintains its sustainability thanks to a rainwater collection system that is located on the roof. Number 2. Palazzo Lombardia, Milan. There is a collection of buildings in Milan, Italy, known as the Palazzo Lombardia. One of these buildings is a skyscraper that is 161 meters tall. It is the major location of the Lombardy Regional Administration and is found in the neighborhood known as Centro Dirigionale di Milano, which translates to Directed Center of Milan, which is located to the northwest of the city center. The Italian Palazzo Lombardia is a building that appears to be an office and has a contemporary aspect. In addition to that, this futuristic tower is built with a lot of consideration for the environment. For instance, the gorgeous flooring, base plastic cushions that are transparent in color and make up the roof's structure are healthy for the environment. In addition, two glass walls have blades that can rotate vertically. These blades give shade while also allowing for spectacular vistas. Geothermal heating systems are what is used to keep the entire structure at a comfortable temperature. Number number one. This is the Galaxy Soho building in Beijing. The Galaxy Soho is one of China's most recent stunningly futuristic buildings, and it is also one of the most impressive. The multipurpose building was erected in 2012 and consists of four domes that are connected by bridges that beautifully curve and platforms that are suspended in the air. A contemporary and natural aesthetic was accomplished by utilizing aluminum, glass, stone, and stainless steel in the construction. Zaha Hadid, a British architect and designer who is also of Arab heritage, conceived of and designed this strikingly futuristic project. This project is vast, daring, and breathtaking all at the same time. The Galaxy Soho building was designed in a manner that is reminiscent of traditional Chinese architecture. The 330. 000 square meters that make up the complex are divided up into individual dome shaped structures or towers as opposed to rigid blocks these skyscrapers have a curved organic appearance and lack any corners in their design the beginnings of traditional chinese architecture served as a source of motivation for this idea when volumes are merged it gives the sense that each component is always shifting and adjusting itself to fit in with the others Offices are placed on the 12 floors that are positioned above the underground level, while the lower three above, ground levels and one below level are occupied by a shopping and entertainment complex. On the very top floor, you'll find a variety of restaurants and bars, many of which provide breathtaking vistas. This forward, thinking construction also has two levels of subterranean parking for patrons' convenience. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.